we're putting some measures in place to secure their benefits and their health care locally here and with our international. And we are, all, you know, they're going to collect unemployment, and we're going to see see what we can do about getting some pandemic relief money that we had up at our international, trying to help us out with that, so we can bridge the gap for many of our members and put food on the table for their families. If every week that ticks by that that channel's not open, that's very impactful to the state of Maryland. I mean, it's the economic impacts is to the tune of $191 million a day the state is impacted by the channel, shipping channel not being open. A lot of long, long short jobs are generational, right? And they, they have, yeah, I'm a product of that. My father worked here, my uncles worked here, my wife works here, my wife's family works here. Everything, everything that I've had in my life has came from the Port of Baltimore and the ILA. And it, to see this happen now, it's, it's heartbreaking. Something like this you never think is going to happen, right? Well, during the pandemic, the longshoremen worked every day. They didn't miss a day, right? We, we were the ones unloading ships, making sure goods came to market, made sure it got to the consumer. Now, the longshoremen don't have a job, but the consumers are still going to get their goods because they're going to be trucked from Virginia and Philadelphia here and, get, and, and distributed that way. So it's still the supply chain is still going to move. It's going to impact the region a little bit. But the main people affected here are the Port of Baltimore workers, especially the ILA. Well, they always say it's what the port that built the city. That's what they say. That's the saying, right? And um, it put people to work that didn't have the greatest of educations, a lot of immigrants, and. It, it allowed people to, to raise their family with a, with a good living wage and, and support them. And it still provides good jobs to this day. And it, it's without it, the state of Maryland is going to struggle right now. It's going to hurt and it's going to be very impactful. But that channel will get opened and we will get back to business sooner than later.